What's up guys, this is Dennis of Luxan Jewelry. Thank you so much for tuning in today. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to clean the sterling silver rope chain. This one is a three millimeter and it is seven years old. It has been sweated on. It is in the basketball courts most of the time and it does go to the gym quite often as well. So that means a lot of sweat has been on this chain. And so I'm excited to show you guys how it looks like once it's finally cleaned. Now, this one is seven years old. Now, I'm gonna show you a brand new one here that I have. This one is brand new. It is highly polished. And this one, believe it or not, used to look like this. Now, keep in mind, this is brand new. It's highly polished. It hasn't been sweated on. There hasn't been any shampoo on it. There hasn't been any deep scratches. So that's why it is this color. Now, this is the natural silver color. But again, we're gonna clean it as fast as we can. It's very easy. I have baking soda here. I have a bowl, aluminum foil, and I currently have water boiling right now. So you might hear the whistle very, very soon. All right, guys, so it's very, very simple. Again, I have aluminum foil here. Put it on the bowl, ready to go. Get some baking soda, put it on top. You can be generous, don't be afraid. All right, so just leave some because we are gonna need a little bit more. All right, so go ahead and put your sterling silver jewelry. In my case, it's this rope chain. So next, let's go ahead and put the boiling water in. All right, so here is the boiling water we're gonna pour in. And you're gonna see all those bubbles there. That's a good sign. You can kind of get to see the water a little bit dirty. All right, so what I like to do is just grab the spoon and just move it around. Let all the baking soda dissolve and you could put a little bit more. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are able to tell, but the water is much dirtier. And I have a little bit more water, just put it in there. So what I like to do again, just mix it up a little bit, just let it sit there for a little bit longer. All right guys, so let's go ahead and take out the chain here. It might be a little hot, yes it is. I do have a little cloth here and you could take a look at the chain. It is a lot more cleaner, but one thing to notice too, it is a little bit more dull because of the baking soda, which is fine. One of the things that a lot of people when cleaning their silver with baking soda is they actually forget one extra step and I'm gonna show you guys in a few seconds. But before that, let's go ahead and do the process one more time. So it is still a little hot, just be careful when touching it. So let's go ahead and rinse this chain and then dry it up. All right guys, so I went ahead and dry up the chain. If you take a look at it, it looks much better. It has removed a lot of the tarnish, but there is still one more step to make this sterling silver piece shine a lot more. And that is to get a very nice polishing cloth. And this is the one I use here. I do have a link in the description below. And so we're just gonna polish it very lightly. Again, just beware, you don't wanna pull too hard. That way you don't break anything. All right guys, and this is the finished product when it comes to cleaning the chain. It is definitely much cleaner now and definitely shines a lot more. And lastly, guys, I wanna show you a comparison of these two chains here, the brand new one and the one that is seven years old. Like I mentioned, the chain is not gonna look brand new ever again, but it is definitely much better looking and a lot of tarnish has been removed. 